Hey everyone, in today's video we will be rebuilding the front calibers on the GSX-F600 and it will also be covering the front master cylinder rebuild. The kits I'll be using to do this will be the, for the calibers is a TRK kit with the pistons and the seals which we got from Wii Moto. And the master cylinder rebuild kit is an all balls one. Now we're first going to start with the master cylinder. I'm going to get it stripped down here first, get all the unnecessary bits off before I show you how to strip the piston out of it. Now let's get started on these front calibers. First of all we're going to take this little R clip out of in here in this pin. Little clip like that. And next we're going to knock this pin out. Now these are actually meant to be like grabbed with a pair of ice grips and twisted out but as you can see here someone has drilled a hole makes it easier to get a punch and just knock it out that way. That's the pin out. Take this this pad back out of the road and slide it out. Second pad. And there's a little anti-vibration clip just right here. I'm gonna take that off in the meantime. 
Another little anti-vibration clip in the bottom here. Just like that. Right, next, this part just slides out this way. Depending on if it's seized, it may need a bit of persuasion. Right, so next, we need to get these pistons out of here. And unless they're seized really bad, vice grip should be adequate to do it. Just be careful for reusing the pistons to grab it as gently as possible, but I am using new ones in this. And there's two seals in here. There's one outer thinner dirt seal. And then a thicker seal on the inside to actually stop the fluid. Come out. Now, you'll want to get those cleaned out really well between a little wire brush on the Dremel and brake cleaner and rags to get it as clean as possible. Here is the other side which I have now cleaned. It's pretty clean in there. This kit comes with a little tub of red grease. I'm going to apply a little tiny bit to each of these seals. And pop them in. A little bit fiddly but they pop in fine in the end. Next we'll grab one of our nice new pistons. Nice little coat of grease in it too. Don't worry if you put too much on so it will be pushed out by the seal and you can wipe off any excess then. Again, we'll line it up nicely. Just wiggle it about. And pop right in. There we go. So that is the piston part of the calipers complete. They're in nicely there now. Um, I'm actually going to paint these calipers, so I'm not going to put in this rubber. This rubber pops in through here, you see me pulling it out. That is for the bracket, the little brake pad carrier bracket. And we have new rubbers for here as well. Pops onto this new bracket that pops in here like that. I'm actually going to get these painted, so I'm going to repeat the process for the other piston get them painted and then I'll be back when I'm fitting in the pads. Okay so that's the calipers and master cylinder nicely painted. So now we'll finish off this little rebuild with putting in the rubbers and the pads. Okay next we're going to put in the little spring blade to keep the pads from jiggling about too much. Get our caliber bracket. This is some high temperature grease that comes along with the brake calibers. Brake caliber kits. Get our new rubber bit. Goes on the longer of the two.
lay the bracket in, making sure that the boots both pop onto their little rings to keep them in place. When we get our new brake pads, I'm using the EBC double hitch centered brake pads for a little better performance. First we're going to take the brake pad with the one hole. It slides under this little anti-vibration clip. And under this part. It sits here in the meantime, the pin on the outside will hold it in place. And take the other brake pad. Slide it on like this. And then drop it around. Take our brake pin, grease it up nicely with the brake grease, high temperature grease. Line up the two pads and push it home. Finally we get a little R clip. And that is one brake caliper rebuild complete. I'm going to repeat the process on the other side and fit the calipers onto the bike. Right, so we're going to take our nice zinc plated bolts, apply a little Loctite. Caliper always goes on with the bleed nipple higher up so the air can escape. Just to make sure our pads are nicely spread, slide it over the disc. Tighten up the bolts. Pop in the new bleed nipple. Right, so now I'm just going to go grab the brake hoses and pop on the master cylinder and we'll get these bled. Remove the pipe carefully so no fluid runs out over the freshly painted caliper and tighten up the nipple. That's one side done so I'll get the other side done and that's the job finished. Yeah see that is the another one ticked off the list. Just changed these bolts for, for some nice Torx ones. And look at this clutch bolt here. Just tidies it up a little bit matches more into the theme of it. In the next episode I'm going to try and get the back brake caliber master cylinder sorted. I have the rebuild kit for the caliber on its way. For some, somehow I forgot to order it before but when that's done I can finally get this exhaust done and it really start looking like a bike. So yeah if you'd like to join me for that one tune in next time. Uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.